Ladies and gentlemen, if you remember during the NFL protest, how they kept conveniently bringing up the troops and disrespecting the troops and disrespecting the troops and disrespecting the troops. But we have seen a series of disrespecting the troop from this sitting president. But yet he wants to bring, you know, it, 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 it's the conveniency of trying to win an argument. So, but really not caring about the troops at all, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to know how America cares about troops, just look at your nearest underpass. <laughs> your underpass is where they're living. So, now we have another thing that has come up about Trump, ladies and gentlemen. Trump becomes first president since 2002 not to visit troops at Christmas time. Though he called military personnel Tuesday, Trump did not visit a hospital or a military base which is one of those things that presidents usually do. So much for caring about them troops, huh? So this came out December 25th, 2018. On Christmas Day, Trump took part in a long time running practice of presidents who called troops stationed around the country and around the world. Yes, you give them a little address, you know, but he broke from a recent tradition of actually visiting troops and wounded warriors. He did so when he visited wounded troops at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center on December 21st and invited Coast Guard service members to play golf at his course in West Palm Beach, Florida. He stayed home Tuesday. Trump became the first president since 2002 who didn't visit military personnel around Christmas time. And who's that in the picture? Oh, Obama. And let's see this picture. Oh, George W. Bush. Uh uh uh. Based on a check of NBC logs. President Barack Obama visited troops at Marine Corps Base, Hawaii. Okay, so uh, look like he and Michelle did make a visit to the troops. Um, and he did every Christmas while he was in office from 2009 to 2016. Before him, according to the check of news releases, President George W. Bush visited wounded uh, warriors at Walter Reed from 2003 to 2008. He did not visit troops at Christmas in 2002 in the run-up um, run to the Iraq War or 2001. In recent months, Trump has taken heat from critics for not visiting troops in an active combat zone, you know, like flying into Iraq and talking to the troops or going to Afghanistan, you know, those kind of things that the previous presidents did. Trump won't do that. Such a nice guy, ain't he? Okay, um, after canceling a trip, to an American military burial ground outside of Paris last month due to weather and skipping the traditional Veterans Day visit to Arlington National Cemetery just two days later and trying not to fly the flag at half mass for John McCain. I, I just threw that in because he really did that. At the time, the president told Fox News, Chris Wallace, that he should have gone to Arlington, and he hasn't visited a combat zone because he's had an unbelievably busy schedule. 
Have you ever heard that from another president? I haven't. Busy schedule, adding, I will be doing it. Trump made the trip to Arlington several weeks later to lay a wreath as part of wreath uh, crossing America, wreaths, I'm sorry, across America, but still has yet to visit an active combat zone. Hmm. Interesting, huh? At this point in their presidencies, Obama visited troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. Bush visited Iraq just eight months after the start of the war in 2003. Trump won't go. You know, if you're going to make all these claims about caring about the troops, you could at least show it. We have yet to see this from this president. You know, it's easy to give lip service on Twitter. It's harder to put those words into action. But please tell me what you think. Yet another snub by President Trump when it comes down to the troops. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.